Hi everybody! Welcome to Story Station with Words Alive. My name is Sandy and we're going to read the story Harriet Gets Carried Away Today. But first we have to get our bodies ready. So show me your eyes, making the letters O, and make them really big so you can see all the beautiful pictures and be a picture detective. And now use those open O's to make the letter C. Put them on your ears and turn them way up so you can hear all of the beautiful words that the author has written. And now take your fingers, pinch them, put them at your throat and open them up so you can yell out all of the wonderful ideas you have when you listen to the story. I can't wait to find out what Harriet's adventures are going to be. First, we will share our song to the farmer in the Dow. Help me if you remember it. Remember what this is called on the front? You're right. Titles on the front, the titles on the front. Hi ho the dairy, all the titles on the front. And I forgot to sing hi ho biblio. The words are written by the author. Here we go. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi, little Biblio. The author writes the words. And the illustrator is the person who draws or paints or colors or shows the pictures through photographs. The illustrator draws. The illustrator draws. Hi ho biblio, the illustrator draws. And remember how the book is all put together with the spine, just like our spine that holds our body up straight and tall. Here we go. The spine binds the book. The spine binds the book. Hi ho biblio, the spine binds the book. Now we're ready to read Harriet gets carried away. Look at those pictures. My goodness, does that look like an animal you're familiar with? I'm thinking it's something to do with someplace very cold. It starts with the letter P. If you guess penguins, I think you're right, but we'll have to wait and look and see. The author and illustrator is the same. Her name is Jessie Seema, and she wrote this book. And thank you for Simon and Schuster for sharing, letting us share this book with you. They're the publishers. Harriet Gets Carried Away by Jessie Seema. Harriet loves costumes. Do you like costumes? I love them, especially at Halloween. Looks like Harriet has a whole bunch of costumes in this great big suitcase. She didn't save them for Halloween or only wear them to dress up birthday parties. Harriet wore costumes all the time. Here, it looks like she's at the laundromat. I wonder where she is here. Looks like she's feeding the birds. Where can you feed the birds? Maybe your park? And what are they doing here? This woman has a mask and a tool with a little mirror and she has her mouth open. Have you ever done that before? I think Harriet is at the dentist and the dentist is making sure she has all shiny teeth. One morning of Harriet's dress up, she was going to have a birthday party. Harriet was a very busy bee. Oh boy. We still need to pick up some snacks from the grocery store, her dad said. And lots of party hats, Harriet added. Oh, it looks like they're getting ready. They're blowing up balloons, putting up fancy lights. 
here are the two adults and they look like they're up high. Look at the buildings behind them. I think they might be up on a rooftop. Her dad shared a look. Okay, they said, but don't get carried away. Harriet was sure she could manage that. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Don't get carried away. She needed to pick up snacks and party hats. How could you get carried away with party hats? Hmm. Oh my goodness. Look at Harriet. She's back in her room looking at herself in the mirror. She changed into her extra special errand running costume and she straightened her bow tie. It looks like her costume is the very same as on the front of the book. What do you think Harriet's costume is? Looks like she's got a yellow beak and a white belly and black arms and a black hat. So she straightened her bow tie and she waddled down the street. What creature waddles? Hmm. Through the subway. Oh my goodness, have you ever ridden on the subway? Or the trolley or a bus? She's got her dads with her. She's looking out the window. Let's find out what adventure she's going to go on. She went into the store and her dad seemed to have the deli counter covered. Oh, you ever seen one of these at the market? You take one of those little papers and they call your number when it's your turn. And there she is at the deli counter where there's cheeses and salamis. Mm -mm. So Harriet set out on a special quest for the perfect party hats. There she goes. But instead, she found something else. This was at the store. What are they doing there? Can you tell what they're grabbing? It looks like something cold in a bag and it's white. Kind of looks like it's, did you guess ice? You're right if you did. And look, some of these penguins have clothes. This one has a sweater, and this one and this one. This one has earmuffs on. Harriet forgot all about her party hats. Looks like a penguin is sharing the ice with Harriet. And now they're raising her up really high. She waddled past the checkout lines. And look at that checkout person. She's kind of got a funny look on her face. I wonder if she's wondering, hmm. Why are all these penguins buying ice? She waddled past the checkout lines and through the city. And out of town, uh-oh. I wonder if her dads are gonna be wondering where she went. Where are we going, Harriet asked excitedly. Back home, of course. A penguin answered, the city is a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. And there they go. And it looks like they're leaving on hot air balloons. Do you think this could be a true story? Hmm. I'm thinking it looks like make-believe. As the balloons floated farther, from the city, Harriet's thoughts floated back to her birthday party. Excuse me, said Harriet. I don't think I belong here. That's okay, the penguins replied. Everyone feels like they don't fit in sometimes. Maybe you should lose the bow. I don't know if you can see, but she has that red bow on, but none of the other penguins do. They think if she takes off the bow, she'll look just like them. 
But Harriet didn't care about fitting in. She cared about getting back to the store. So she straightened her bow tie and hatched a plan. What do you think she's standing on? What's well, really cold where the penguins live? I think it might be a chunk of ice. It looks like she's standing on an iceberg. And then she hatched another plan. Oh, she's trying to parachute. But things were not going very smoothly. Harriet was out of ideas when one emerged from the sea. Hey, said the orca, you are not a penguin. How did you know, cried Harriet. Penguins don't wear bow ties, he replied. Harriet realized that this orca might just be her ticket home. So she told him a tale of the costumes and the penguins and the hot air balloons. And she told him all about her dads and her family and her city and the party hats that she needed to find. And when her story was finished, she said, I could really use a lift. A lift. Have your parents ever lifted you up? I wonder who's going to lift her up. And I wonder if it's going to be more than just lifting up. I think Orca the Whale is going to. Just so happens I'm heading up north for a family reunion, replied the Orca. I could drop you off along the way in exchange for that fancy red bow tie. This seemed like a fair trade to Harriet. As the orca swam, Harriet daydreamed. Do you know where she's daydreaming? That they're flying over? Do you know what this is called? It's in New York, the Statue of Liberty. Once Harriet could make out the city in the distance, the orca came to a halt. This is far as I can go, he said. Oh no, how is she going to get back to the store if the whale can't float her back? Hmm. Oh, it looks like she's talking to these pigeons. Do you think they might have an idea? Harriet called a favor from some of her friends she knew from the park. We'll take it from here, they said. What do you think they're going to do to help her? Doesn't look like she can get on their back. Let's find out. Oh, they're grabbing on to her arms and they're all chasing and leading the way to that beautiful city of New York, across the ocean. Harriet soared back into the store and headed straight for the party hats. There it says party supplies. It didn't take long to pick out the perfect ones. I'm wondering why it didn't take long. It looks like everything is gone except for this one bag of party hats. Shoo, I'm glad they still had some left. She found her dad's at the deli, just where she left them. Where did you sneak off to, they asked. Oh, I just went to the party hats, said Harriet. Oh, is that where she went? Hmm. Oh, and I could use a new bow tie she was telling her dads. Look at her dad smiling. I love their expressions. They're thinking, hmm, you only went to the party hats, did you? And what happened to your bow tie? With hats in hand, Harriet walked back through the subway and up the street and into her room, she put on her birthday party costume. Oh my goodness, what is she now? 
She straightened her party hat and she headed back up to the roof. Remember where the balloons and the lights were? There they are! The party was a great success and no one got carried away. Looks like they're having so much fun. Can you find out what some of those costumes are? I see a magician. I see a clown, a ballerina. It looks like this young man has a bat wing and a cowgirl. And I actually see a couple penguins in the background. And look at Harriet. She's standing on a chair in a lion costume. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Except Livia might have gotten carried away. Her friend. Here's Harriet in her lion costume. But Olivia, her friend, came as a wolf. I think she brought some friends with her that are howling at the moon. Look at that. What an interesting costume that is. What a great adventure Harriet had with her penguin friends and her dads and all her friends. I'm wondering, do you think this was nonfiction, a true story, or fiction, a pretend story? I'm kind of thinking it might be pretend, a fiction. That was so much fun. Thank you for sharing that with me, and we'll see you next time on Story Station. Bye-bye.